reunited and it feels so good. Mike Apple, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? Nice to see you. <laughs> oh, good to see you. You were on vacation and then I was on vacation. And so then, it's yeah, been two and a half Over weeks since we've chatted. But who's counting? I am. I'm in Apple <laughs> deprivation right now. Now we are happy. Um, yes. We've got a lot of numbers that we're going to be getting through this week. Indeed. Yes. Yeah, so let's start yeah. with earnings. Yeah. So while you were away, mm -hmm. um, we, we saw the markets keep on climbing, Melanie. And this has been a, a familiar refrain here where we've actually seen records, uh, you know, defying logic, wisdom, uh, past trends, you know, economies shut down, slowly reopening. And yet in all, we've had uh, records for uh, heavyweights in the tech sector. Uh, the Netflixes of the world, Netflix, plural, uh, Apple, Microsoft, you know, the, the big companies here have, uh, have, you know, seen impressive strength from actual business activity. And some of this is going to be borne out this week because Netflix, for example, reports quarterly results on Thursday. So will these companies live up to uh, sales expectations? Having said that, the vast majority of companies worldwide have seen earnings drop dramatically and by an estimated 40%, which would be the worst performance since the 08-09 uh, recession era or years. So, again, we've got this disconnect. Mm -hmm. Markets have a lot to live up to, so to speak, and it has been really focused on the tech sector. Let's not you know, discount that fact. And what's been going on? Well, you've had government stimulus, record low interest rates, uh, the fear of missing out trade, FOMO. A lot of money has been sitting on the sidelines. People are thinking, oh, i got to get in now. Even though stocks have gone up, it would be, again, the inverse. You sell at the lows, you buy at the highs, and, uh, you know, the exact opposite of what you might want to do. So this week's going to be very interesting. And, indeed, we've got uh, stock futures up to start the day this morning. It's always the FOMO, Mike, always the FOMO I when know. it comes to the markets. Um, stage three, <laughs> like we've been talking about uh, for yes. the possible reopening yeah. as early as this week for some regions in our province. You know, the other part of the argument will be stimulating the economy again, getting the job market afloat. Um, how much will that help? Uh, that's, you know, we, we saw on Friday those huge job numbers out of StatsCan, uh, 950,000 plus jobs regained. We want to make that, that point. These aren't jobs created. These are jobs coming back from, uh, you know, the millions that were lost in March and April. So a long way to go. So as we get into stage three, this will see that job momentum continue, likely, for this month. You know, but it's it's going to be regional, right? That, that, that sounds like how this is going to play out, where there are very few, if not no, cases of COVID-19 right now. That allows for the reopening with social distance guidelines still in effect. So, yeah, you're going to see movie theaters maybe reopen. But, you know, are people going to be sitting side by side? Likely yeah. not. You know, mm -hmm. they've tried that in the airline industry, and there's been a lot of pushback to that. And then you see what's happened in the States with the, the massive numbers of outbreaks there. You know, Disney opened on, on the weekend, and, you know, and they're trying to make a go of it. Um, you know, they saw a lot of flack on social media. Let's not you yes. know, discount that, that, that factor. And, and these are all going to be test cases to see exactly how business can reopen without creating more of an outbreak. It's going to be really interesting, that's for sure. Yep. Um, finally, we have time for one more thing, and it's the latest in Elon Musk news. What do you got today? Number seven on the world's richest list at $70 billion. Uh, Jeff Bezos is still number one in that category. But Elon Musk has now passed Warren Buffett, who used to be either number one or number two, or number three, in and around with Bill Gates. But Buffett's uh, Berkshire Hathaway fund has underperformed vastly this week year because he didn't get into the tech stock rally. Meantime, what's uh, Elon Musk been uh, making money on? Tesla. The shares this morning above $1,500 for the first time and up 43% in two weeks. That's incredible. Tesla is now the world's most valuable automaker. Think about that. That doesn't sell anywhere near as many cars as Toyota or General Motors or any of them. But that's where the money's going. So strange to think about that. Again, if I yeah. thought about that, way earlier. <laughs> I would have put my money yes. there. Oh, well. Yes, indeed. Okay, there Mike. As always, nice to talk to you. We'll do it again tomorrow. Okay, thanks, Mel. Thank you.